Hi, welcome to Sea Gadget Review. It looks like OLED TVs are going to be the next big thing. Right now, OLED TVs are, let's say, a small market compared to LCD LED TVs. To give you an idea, right now, 97% of the TV market is comprised of LCD LED TVs, and that includes mini LED TVs, which just made their way into the market in the last couple of years. OLED TVs only make 3% of the market. And the reason is because LG is the biggest manufacturer of OLED screens in the market. So any TV that you see that has an OLED panel most likely comes from LG. But the OLED TV market is growing. We had Vizio that came out with their own OLED TV. We have Samsung that is working on their own OLED technology. And there's also have been reports that they are actually starting to buy panels from LG for their upcoming OLED TVs. Of course, we have Panasonic, Philips, Sony, and it seems like there is going to be a new player that wants to get into the OLED TV market, but doesn't want to buy the panels from LG, and that will be TCL. TCL bought a 10% stake on J OLED, which is a Japanese OLED manufacturing company, and it seems that TCL will want to use them to make their own OLED TVs. Now, the rumors are that TCL will come out with their own OLED panel in 2023. And it kind of makes sense, right? TCL kind of is the type of company that wants to have their fingers on everything. And they are leaders when it comes to low price TVs that are mini LEDs and LEDs. It will make sense that they will want to go into the OLED market and compete with the big boys offering discounted OLED TVs. And it's not that far-fetched. I mean, we have LG that came out this year with the A1 series, which is the entry-level OLED TV. It doesn't have all the fancy features that other OLED TVs have, but it's a good entry-level point for people who want a good picture and that only care about watching TV or movies. Don't play any games. The A1 series most likely is a great TV for those people. So it will make sense that TCL will want to cater to that market as well. But instead of giving their own money to LG as everybody else does, that they will want to go on their separate way and own a piece of that OLED pie. Tom Sky had an interview with Aaron Dew, who is the director of product development at TCL North America. One of the things that he stressed, of course, is that the development of mini LED TVs and LCD LED technologies isn't going to stop, and any development is going to be in tandem with any OLED TVs that they might be working on. TCL isn't only working on a regular OLED competitor. No, the reason why they invested a total of $187 million into JOLED is because that company is working on an inkjet printing process that makes OLED screens, which is different than the way LG makes their screens. LG makes what is called white OLED screens or W OLED screens. The technology that JOLED is working on is supposed to be easier to make and cheaper to make, which will allow TCL to make more TVs faster and sell them for less money. Of course, TCL will do something like that. The whole point of TCL's brand is to give you quality, powerful device for a low price. Not only that, but TCL also is mainly a Chinese brand. China has tons of people, as we know. So being able to sell OLED TVs in just, let's say, China alone makes it a great competition to LG. Let's not only think about TCL making their, their own OLED screens for their own TVs. TCL could go into the market of selling their own screens like LG does to other manufacturers, making TCL a big competitor against LG when it comes to OLEDs. But this will probably also work in favor of TCL changing their branding from being a cheap TV maker to also being able to have a premium brand because they could market their OLED TVs as premium TVs as most TV manufacturers do nowadays. It has become that OLED is the premium TV and LCD LED is the lower tier TV and then now you have mini LED TVs coming in to kind of cover the middle gap in there. This could also help TCL change minds on how they are perceived by the public 
and be able to charge more for their other TVs and sell them to a higher end consumer. This is a quote from the interview. That's what helped to get us to the top two position here in the US in terms of TV market share, said Du. Largely, we produce everything in-house that we distribute and sell to customers. That gives us great power in terms of bringing new technology faster. And we continue to invest. And you see those new investments around things like inkjet printing of all the materials, which is a little ways off, but you see that continued investment. And proof that TCL won't buy any panels from LG like Samsung seems to be doing is this specific quote to that question. No, Du said flatly, we certainly don't have any plans to do anything like that and we don't do that today. TCL isn't going to be buying any panels from LG. TCL, I'm sure 100% rather not have an OLED line than to buy an OLED panel from LG. Recently, TCL teased a foldable rollable phone. They call it the Fold and Roll. During CES, they also showed off a rollable phone and something that looks like a scroll that you can pull out like this. And during that presentation, they spoke about inkjet printed OLED screens and how it was something that they were working on. All these pieces that they have been doing during this year amount to products that will actually probably come out in the near future. Again, 2023 is the date that Mr. Du gives on this interview. It looks like TCL is really ramping up their OLED production. And I believe that TCL is preparing for an all-out attack on LG OLED. And by that, I mean that probably during CES 2023 or, or the year 2023, assuming that everything goes as planned for TCL, that they'll probably come out with that OLED TV, with that rollable foldable phone, with a rollable phone, and whatever other inkjet printed OLED products they can throw at you. Because it will make sense that they will want to come out the gate as a company that can make all the products that nobody else can make. Of course, I could be wrong and they might just focus on the TVs and they're just kind of showing everything else that they could do to, you know, kind of show other companies what can be possible with this inkjet OLED screens and sell those screens to those other companies. Clearly, TCL is looking into the future and to them, the future seems to be OLED. So here's to hoping that LG continues developing their OLED technology in order to be able to compete with a company like TCL, which is very, very aggressive. Once they get their hands on something, they do everything they can to succeed. So we'll soon have some uh, LG TCL battles. What do you think? Do you think that LG should worry about TCL? Do you think that TCL will become a big player when it comes to all the technology? Let me know in the comment section. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. Thank you very much for watching.